Dr. Jacques Vallée has collected purported metal debris from UFO cases dating as far back as 1947 that experts are analyzing in a state-of-the-art laboratory. The breakthrough has come with the invention of a, a machine that enables us to look at the atomic structure. And at that point, the, the atomic structure is impossible to fake. This device is a multi-parameter ion beam imager. Dr. Gary Nolan, a Stanford microbiologist, is using a revolutionary three-dimensional imaging device to analyze the samples right down to their individual atoms. When Dr. Nolan placed some of the fragments in the vacuum chamber of his instrument, he was astonished to find their composition was unlike any known metal. Just one spot and the isotopic composition all the way across no matter where he looked in the sample's jumble of elements, whether magnesium, iron, nickel, or titanium, the ratio of isotopes didn't make any sense. If you're talking about an advanced material from an advanced civilization, you're talking about something that I'll just call it an ultra material, right? It's something which has properties where somebody has is putting it together, again, at the atomic scale. So we're building our world with 80 elements. Somebody else is building the world with 253 different isotopes. I intend to use the information to try to build something, to try to understand a physical principle that we don't know today. This material was manufactured. It's not natural. It's not natural to the materials that we have around us in the lab or on, on the earth. It does not mean that it was necessarily made someplace in outer space. It just means that it was manufactured specially for a particular purpose that we don't understand, and we want to understand it.